closer well welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me today and uh, today we're out on uh, my speed triple 12 uh, 1200 my street triple 765 RS for a change makes a change actually from uh, ooh, <laughs> from riding uh, you know lots of new machines reviews and what have you so it's nice just to come out today on the bike not really any major purpose to be honest just just purely just to to come out and uh, you know just to have a nice little ride out on this machine where are we put a home local village here in Norfolk that will all start becoming very 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 busy I would say soon when the summer kicks in oh here we go <laughs> uh, <laughs> few people about so yeah anyway yeah it's nice just to come out just for a nice little ride through the local villages talk about just stuff in general really um, quite a few um, quite a few new bike reviews coming to the channel also uh, I've done one which will be actually I'll put that on the channel next not this Wednesday next went next Wednesday um, I generally post a video usually every other Wednesday um, at the moment anyway so I was just finding time to uh, to go out and you know make these videos and obviously edit the videos and it's quite a quite a lengthy process it can be What with the you know the 360 camera as well. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. What do you think of it? I quite like it personally. I'm quite a lover of it from what I've um, sort of seen of it so far. Anyway, oh, it's windy. Lovely roads out this way. Don't often come out this way. roads are slightly damp but I'm not I'm not too bothered it's dry not raining had a lot of rain last night oh poor little pheasant there in the road he's met his maker <laughs> probably end up on someone's dinner plate later on around here anyway <laughs> oh, I'm only joking but yeah, you know, let me know what you think of the, the 360 camera. Is it worth, you know, utilising that like I do? I do use it quite a lot. Um, yeah. Got the heated grips on. Not really, to be honest, majorly impressed with these heated grips. A lot of the bikes I've rode recently, uh, you know, what I've had the grips on standard, or had the grips on, they seem to the cut, you know, warm up a lot hotter than these. I mean, these are on level three, so the hottest setting. You see, it's red on there on the display there. I don't know if you can see that, but so it's the hottest setting, and. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not massively impressed, to be honest, for for, for what I, what I paid for them. Whether it's just these ones, I don't know. But let me know if you've got heated grips on uh, the speed speed. I keep saying speed street triple or the speed actually. Uh, you know, what do you think of them? Are you happy with them? What I do notice with these is because I see my, my fingers seem to get cold you know it's the wind blast on my fingers and yeah I think I think if there was sort of hand guards maybe that would deflect the wind off my fingers but even the likes of today I mean the, the temperature out here is the same 12 degrees on the clock on the on the dash there so it's not mega cold but my fingers are my fingers are cold I mean my gloves are Obviously they're not win win full on winter gloves, but it could actually do with a new pair, to be honest. 
might have to treat myself at some point and uh, some new boots actually becoming a bit um, a bit worn now <laughs> so yeah anyway coming to the channel we've got uh, a nice review of the NT 1100 by Honda so um, if you're interested in the NT 1100 new for 2022 that one the Tora that'll be coming to the channel very soon and uh, yeah see what your thoughts are on uh, on that one hello sir lots of drain covers out here on the road here what with the road being uh, damp need to steer clear of those they seem to be everywhere I'm trying to look forward on the road you know ahead but drain covers another one here so they're just everywhere on this section of road here Ludham another nice little village by the broads this one yeah so uh, it's nice to be out on the old um, trusty Triumph today I'll like say I'm not, not really seem to, seem to have been out much on her <laughs> We're too busy riding other other machines, so uh, it's quite nice. Not quite sure if it's time to swap her in yet for something else, but so I've only just had this what a year and a half now, so. Oh. And. Uh, <laughs> Still happy with her. Still on the original tyres as well. Still got the original tyres there. Oh. Nice to get a bit of air in the helmet, but yeah. So yeah, the mileage on the bike. They might have done. What have I done on this? I think it's just clocked around to two and a half thousand. So. Still virtually new this one. Plenty of life left in it yet. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good summer and get plenty of uh, ride outs in and it'll be nice. Horning. Well these are all lovely little villages here by the by the Norfolk Broads. And uh, yeah, but yeah, there's no no real like I say, no real purpose of the video today. Uh, it's not going to be a video that well, they, <laughs> they don't generally get the masses of views. Not like the the, the bike reviews, you know, they clock up the old um, review numbers. But it's not all about that, really, is it? Just sort of give you an update on what's, what's kind of going on, really. And uh, so the old, yeah, the channel anyway's hit a thousand. Oh well, over a thousand now. Hit a thousand subscribers, I think. Oh, it was sort of a month ago now. So thanks, thanks for that. That's much appreciated. Um, yeah, so it's obviously uh, growing nicely slowly but nicely and uh, nice to sort of um, you know if I know there's adverts in there now and it can become a bit much but I think um, the likes of the lovely YouTube I think they put them in there anyway when you get when you get to a certain amount of subscribers I think you, you've actually got no choice I don't think uh, they were, so they were putting them in there before so uh, yeah some lovely properties around this area as well
yeah really nice to come out on this today it's actually probably going to be due a service soon I notice when I turn the ignition on it's got a, a spanner light that comes on on the dash there uh, that's probably because it's a year it's been a year since the last service it's not the mileage because the the mileage is only like I say two and a half thousand so so when they say about servicing bikes you know they may say yeah it doesn't need service until 10,000 miles um, it's not to say that you know it's uh, you, know, you get that spanner light come on within a year 12 months on a 12 month countdown on there so it's irrelevant really this 10,000 mile service interval now, you know do you, let me know if you own a motorcycle do you other than doing loads of touring and that do, have you ever done 10,000 miles in a year on a motorbike I, I haven't and I consider myself that you know well admittedly on this bike I don't I haven't really done that much uh, much in a year if I two and a half thousand well in a year and a half but <laughs> um, yeah but yeah overall really quite happy with this machine the thing is like within it talking going back to the servicing I mean it's always nice to have fresh oil put in the bike uh, and sort of the chain tighten the chain up but I don't I, to be honest I, I, I generally check the chain quite frequently on the bike and the oil and the levels tire pressures all of that and the chain like on some models you find the chains they do stretch stretch a fair amount you know this this to be honest has been pretty good I've not had to I've not had to adjust it myself not yet which is unusual my Suzuki thousand I was always forever and forever seemed to be adjusting that although obviously there's a, there's a 200 brake horsepower machine there so uh, probably didn't help did it <laughs> yeah and I never really used to go that easy on it either but uh, old nationals very nice weather today so I couldn't resist coming out just for a blast in this uh, fine weather full tank of fuel well that's another thing isn't it the price of fuel so uh, I'm afraid that's um, unavoidable at the moment what what's going on unfortunately so uh, yeah it's not good but The white, white van man in front. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Would you know what? What would you like to see me take out and test ride? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'll be interested to know. I uh, recently took out the Speed Triple 1200RR I'll put a link in the corner up here somewhere uh, if you want to have a look at that feel free and my views on, on that one coming into the village of Ro uh, the town actually, town of Roxham another village, another village, another town by the, the Broads Get very busy in the summer these these you know around here especially with uh, people not not really being allowed to travel too freely they were uh, sort of staying in the UK really and these broads holidays you know they're not cheap though by far and cost you a fair old uh, few quid I mean, even to hire a daybo out, which I, I I generally do a couple of times in the summer, if I can. You know, you have to book them up well in advance. I'm waffling on a bit now, aren't I? But 
<laughs> but yeah, you have to book them out well in advance, otherwise you'll end up disappointed. I'm talking like a couple of weeks in advance sometimes in the in the middle middle of the summer. Uh, I know that's not a massive uh, advance of bookings, but that is if you just decide, oh, I wouldn't mind taking a day boat out. Uh, put some air in. few people out and about. Nice. It's one thing that does annoy me on this uh, bike. Is the hasn't doesn't seem we've done it today because it's quite bright out here today. But what I found and what I do find is that display there keeps flicking between the day and the night mode. Yeah, that's on auto, but I could put it on. I could turn that off. Actually, thinking about it, I might do that. So it just stays on this uh, mode there all the while. Not too many niggles with this bike though. Oh, there is there is another one, um, and it it is actually quite annoying. And when I fill up this petrol filler cap, it just keeps flopping forward. It's annoying. So you open it up on the hinge, and it doesn't sit back enough. I don't want to bend it, but yeah, it, it is annoying when you when you it's open and you're trying to fill it up. It keeps flopping forward. So I'm trying if you're listening take that into account on your newer models <laughs> yeah another thing I have noticed on a lot of these triumphs as well I'm not having a niggle at triumph well I am I suppose but the reflectors on the forks I don't know if you can see them there you could just pull them off I know but but they never seem to be put put on the fork straight. Hello, sir. Uh, they're always on the on the skew if that that really plays up plays my OCD up. That does. I mean, yeah, you could pull them off and probably stick them back on, but you shouldn't have to do that, really. Uh, where are you going, sir? Oh, you're going in there. So we'll take a left here. To, uh, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. I know it's nothing major, but. Just little things like that when you when you pay sort of premium prices. I mean this bike was ten and a half ten and a half thousand I think when I bought this a year and a half ago. I mean yeah. Another thing that I did have a little bit of an issue with before was the, the, the brakes squeaking. The brakes were squeaking a little bit. Uh, that seems to have sorted itself out now, although it does do it after I've cleaned the bike. If I've got a hose pipe out on the bike and given the bike a clean, it does... I do tend to do that for a little while, but it's probably as, as could be expected, really. Yeah. Lovely roads out here. Nothing about on the roads, uh, roads today, either, really. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely countryside around here as well. It really is nice to see this sun. And I'm, I hopefully, you know, I really, really do hope we have a good summer this year. And uh, it should start like now, really. Well, we're in the spring now, aren't we? So, what's the date today? The date is the 14th of March today. So, I uh, don't know when you'll be watching this video as such, but. Yeah. Ooh, better change up in the top gear. So yeah, I'm not really too sure at the minute whether I'd, I'm, I'm actually at that point of swapping this bike out for another one for something else. You know, 
I don't know. I'm not, not, I'm not too sure. I mean, the, the thing is, I, I mean, recently I, I, I have, if you're new to the channel, yeah, consider subscribing, hit the old subscribe button, it'd be much appreciated, but have a look on the channel, there's lots of videos, lots of reviews, and recently I have, uh, slow down a tad here, I have, you know, done a lot on the channel, and, uh, yeah, it's, when, when you're out test riding all of these machines and it does it does make you think really i mean obviously i haven't got the room in the in the garage for uh you know, all of these bikes and uh too many more bikes but and then you've got the the you know the additional insurance costs and running costs well not running well yeah running costs the way things are going at the moment so uh it's actually quite nice just to uh have the one. But um, it's not to say I'm not going to change in the future to something else. I do quite like the Speed RS, the new one, the 1200. But I think, you know, this, this, this duck really is sort of the best all around this one. Stay there, bus. Stay there. Okay. Nationals. <laughs> um. But yeah. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you, you know, what do you think? What you know, do you want to see any more of these sort of ride out videos? Um, you know, the review videos—they're always sort of there, aren't they? They're always going to be there. Well, should be anyway. But I quite actually, I do actually quite like just coming out like this and uh, making these videos, which uh, I have done previous in the past. Lots of videos on the channel of just uh, ride outs. Have a look. Feel free. So if you hit that whole subscribe button, hit the bell, you'll be notified of uh, all of the latest uploads. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, thumbs down. <laughs> but yeah, surprising, you know. Uh, the old thumbs up of the video can, can help the video, promote the videos. And come on. <laughs> and uh, I say ride out videos. They never, they never tend to get masses of uh, hits on there but like I've said before it's not all about that but a long a long way not with me anyway um, yeah what a lovely day I wouldn't mind uh, going out on the uh, taking a BMW 1200 hour uh, the um, GS, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that at some point. I need to get uh, contact BMW and try and arrange that um, at some point, but that's something I'd like to do in the near future. And maybe a few other mo um, models, you know. Maybe. We'll see. Now coming into the village of uh, Panksworth. Oh, I'll stretch your legs a bit. Oh. It's quite nice to stretch your legs. Uh. Plenty of tractors here in Norfolk as well. <laughs> It's alright as long as you're not stuck behind them. Well, anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And, uh, yeah, much appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.